It was a special day at the Chester Clifford Sims State Veterans Nursing Home. One of their residents, a World War II veteran celebrating his 100th birthday. Staff from the facility pulled out all the stops to wish him a happy birthday. News 13's Emily McLeod takes us to the afternoon celebration. April 23rd, King Edward VI is <laughs> born. Master Sergeant Edward Johnson, also known as King Edward VI, celebrated his 100th birthday with friends, family, and veterans in our community. I didn't think it was going to be this, this bigger outfit here, you know. <laughs> but it's wonderful, yeah. I love them all. I love all of them. And I love my Lord most of all, you know. Johnson got his nickname King Edward by getting to know residents at the Sims Nursing Home. I'm a, I'm a people person. I really am. I, I, I met all these people here. Johnson is a World War II veteran. He served for 26 years and was stationed at Tyndall Air Force Base for 11. So I enjoyed the service. It's great for me. He says one of his favorite memories during his time in the service was when he flew his wife from Panama City to Vienna, Austria, so they could get married. I married for 66 years and I had three children. Johnson's son, Mike, was also at Friday's party. He says it wasn't just special for his dad, but for the other residents too. They've been cooped up here for a long time, so, you know, it's, it's just, uh, I'm really grateful that dad could serve everybody this way by having a 100th birthday party. <laughs> Johnson says he has a pretty good idea how his dad lived to be 100. He's been an encouragement to so many people. He loves life and he loves people. The celebration also included dancing, singing, and of course, cake. In Springfield, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong.